It's Jeremiah Taylor with Keller Williams here in Tucson, Arizona. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about pricing your home to sell. Now you see, when I am out and Veronica and I are interviewing with sellers to see if we're the right agents to help them sell their home, a lot of sellers ask, well Jeremiah, can't we just price it a little bit above the market? Because you can always go down, but it's hard to go up. And while that seems like the smart thing to do, it's actually counterintuitive in what we know happens to help you net the most money when you sell your home. You see, when we take the home to market, in the first five weeks is when we're gonna get the most activity. And what we know is if this is the market price, so this is what similar homes in a similar area in the similar time frame have been selling for, that if we price the home at the market or within 10% of the market, that we're only gonna catch about 35% of the buyers. Now what's interesting is if we price it at the market or just below the market, up to maybe 10% below the market, we're gonna increase that buying pool to 75% of the buyers. So what that tells us is that buyers are looking for the very same thing that sellers are, and that's value. So when a buyer sees value in a property, they're more likely to come in to write offers and to get competitive for prices. Interestingly enough, this strategy of pricing the home slightly lower than the latest comparable started with the Department of Housing and Urban Development back in the 80s. And their research showed that this is how they could net the most money for their property. So when it's time to sell your house in Tucson, keep in mind that at or within 10% below the market, will actually net the most money in your pocket. It's Jeremiah Taylor with Keller Williams here in Tucson, Arizona.